Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Um, I am going to be doing an oil change on a current model Toyota Sienna today. So these are very popular vehicles. Uh, the new model um, came out in 21, I believe. So they are the, still the same. All the new Siennas are hybrids also. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, a quick oil change on this. This is my youngest daughter's vehicle. And uh, let me show you how we do it and what we're going to use. So things that you need. Five quart jug. This actually takes 4.8 quarts. So um, I've got a five quart jug of 0W20. This is the Kirkland oil that my daughter picked up. So it's tested pretty well. And uh, as long as you do the oil changes at every 5,000 miles, uh, this engine is gonna purr for a very long time. So I've got an OEM filter. This takes the YZZ N1. You can also use the F1. I believe there's room for the longer filter if you want. Um, I've got a 14 millimeter wrench. All Toyotas use a 14 millimeter drain plug. I have a socket also for that if I want to spin it off with this at the end. I've got a 10 millimeter here. I can't remember this panel if it takes bolts or if it uses clips. So I've got both. Got a flathead screwdriver and my clip remover for that. So, and least but not drain pan and a rag to wipe things up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this draining. First thing you wanna do though, man, this engine's dirty, <laughs> is turn that, get so that some air can flow through it. I forgot to mention, I do have this um, up on my race ramps. I use these for most oil changes just because they're so quick and easy, but you can use jack stands and uh and a jack to get it up if you want to also but i tell you if you've got the space a set of good ramps makes a big difference and these cost a little bit more but i'll tell you right now they are worth it they are so much better than the cheap junky plastic and metal ones that i see everywhere so this has four 10 millimeter bolts to remove the tray right here so we'll go ahead and just undo those real quick This makes all the difference. I highly recommend picking up one of these Milwaukee wrenches. Drop it out, move it out of the way. Now, you can see, got our drain plug right here, again, 14 millimeter, and our filter is right here. You just barely see it there. And there is room if you wanted to use the F1 that's a little bit longer. Crack this one open. I can tell when the dealer does it because I feel like they always do it, tighten it too much. So, little tip that I use when I'm doing this is I'm unscrewing this, I keep pressure on it until I feel like it's all the way out. And then once I do, I just move it over out of the way. And you really don't make much of a mess at all. Well, it goes right into the old drain plan. Again, I'm a big proponent of every 5,000 miles. Here, our old washer came off with that one. So you wanna make sure that it doesn't get stuck right here and if it does pop it off because if you if you replace this like I do every time then you're going to get a leak if you stack them I'll pop this old washer off there's a new one in the filter it's nice my dealer that I buy these from locally always includes a washer with the filter they don't charge you for it so now that that's doing, we'll go ahead and take the filter off. I forgot to show my oil filter tool that I use, my wrench. 
It's from Motive X Tools, and it's uh, it's absolutely fantastic. So I'll leave a link to this. Um, this is the best oil wrench tool I've ever used. It uses it fits all those small Toyota filters, the N ones and F ones, and it also fits the um, plastic or metal housings on the cartridge type, like on my wife's Prius. So. But, and slip this over it just it doesn't get jammed on there and it slides on there so easily and I really like it so well, let's see how tight the dealer put it okay not too bad this time So get some oil from it and then once I get this loosened pop that off and then we can go ahead and uh, once that gets loose let the excess oil flow out of it like that there we go and once that does then spin it off Try to do it upside down and then I flip it so it drains. Now, one nice thing about Toyota OEM filters is they come with a saran cover on them, a plastic cover, and they're already pre lubed. And the O ring is never going to come off of this because it's kind of crimped in there, which is nice. You can always look at the old one and make sure the O-ring comes off. Especially on aftermarket ones because they're just kind of sitting there. So, but once you get that off, this isn't dripping anymore. And we usually just run the rag around the seat real quick. And then, oops. Almost forgot because I'm sitting here talking. One thing I always do with these is I pre-fill them. So even though the, the oil filter sits sideways, I can fill it and the, the filter medium will hold a lot of oil in there. And that helps build oil pressure much quicker on a, on a dry startup. So before it fills this. So that's a, a key point and I highly recommend you do that. Got this pre-filled. I just gotta spin it on there. There we go. Once you once you get the first couple bolts or uh, bolts uh, spins on the thread, then it usually won't leak very much. So I don't lose very much on these. And I will usually tighten them as tight as I can by hand unless I can't get my hand in there and if I do tighten it with the oil filter wrench I just just barely snug it it doesn't have to be super tight let that let the o-ring do its job so slide this back a little bit there we are as that continues to drip and we're all done under here and once that stops, stops dripping. We'll put the oil. <laughs> I can hear my grandson and my granddaughter playing in there as my wife tries to distract them while I do this. <laughs> Go ahead and put this on. It's still dripping some, but geez, I could wait for that all day. So, go ahead and spin that on. There we go. Take your 14 millimeter wrench, snug it. You don't have to torque it super hard. Let the washer do the work, just snug. Okay, wipe down any excess. 
and I'm ready to add our oil up top. I won't put the tray on yet. I always start the car and check for leaks, even though I don't generally ever get them, but it's a good habit to do. I always shake up the jug of oil before I pour. Like I said, this takes 4.8 quarts, so just about the full thing. I usually leave just a little bit. Always have an extra jug then that's being used with the excess. I do hate these engine covers, these foamy ones that Toyota uses on some of the cars now. Just they they hold all the dirt and dust right on them. It's just nasty. Probably better just to take it off on these cars that use that. Let's give it a start up and check for leaks. We'll put the panel on underneath and we're all done. So thanks for joining me guys. I hope this helps. Anybody wanting to do this engine and this engine is also the same in the RAV4, um, the Camry, um, the Camry hybrids, um, gas models will be very similar to this. Uh, so there's a lot of, uh, a lot of vehicles that, uh, Toyota uses this 2.5 liter on and, uh, in the straight gas version and a hybrid version. So, um, but any questions, please reach out to me, uh, comments. Um, if you like this kind of thing, I sure would appreciate if you'd like and subscribe, if you don't already I only have about, uh, you know, 5% or a little bit more of people that watch the videos that subscribe. So it would be a huge help if uh, you would do that, subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you down the road.